A big hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. This is Big Brain and it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the third season of A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2022. It's a celebrative initiative created by the Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan group of schools to keep alive and cherish and celebrate the wonderful life of an educator, a teacher, a mentor, Mrs. YGP. It's our pleasure and privilege to present this quiz to you, third year in a row. And over the last couple of years, this quiz has really grown in stature in terms of the difficulty levels, and this year is no different. But I'm not going to stand between you and this wonderful quiz. Presenting this series to you is a young lady who shares her name, incidentally, with Mrs. YGP, who is also known as Rashmi, as the name under which she wrote many of her newspaper articles when she was a scribe. Rashmi herself has grown over the last couple of years, leaps and bounds, especially as a host in the digital space in the pandemic uh, era that we were part of. She's in fact become the lady who has hosted the most number of quiz shows in this world on a digital platform. An alumnus of NITK Suratkal, a recipient of many awards, she is no new face to all of you who've been part of this quiz over the last couple of years. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, presenting before you the one and only Rashmi Furtado. <laughs> Welcome to each and every one of you to the third quarter final of a class about Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz brought to you by PSBB Group of Institutions in collaboration with TCS Ion and Grey Caps Knowledge Stripe. This is a beautiful quiz that was created to celebrate the contributions of a great educator from our country, Mrs. YGP specifically created for the middle school children of our country and you will know that we have kids taking part from the length and breadth of our country if you have already taken a look at the first and the second quarter final if you haven't please go and watch those episodes amazing quizzers very well prepared for now let me get started and introduce all our contestants to you this is the third quarter final once I introduce, we can move into the rules of the game. Our first contestant of the day, Akshita Raj from Delhi Public School, Patna. There she is. Up next is Vanya from Pawar Public School, Mumbai. Following her is Satyam Jha from Ryan International School, Greater Noida. There he is. Following Satyam is Kunjal Yadav from Shikshayatan School, Kolkata. There she is. Up next is Kavya from Center Point School, Nagpur. Following her is Monal Bhatia from St. Anthony's Senior Secondary School, Udaipur. There she is. Haricharan from Pushpalata Vidya Mandir, Tirunalveli. And completing our lineup here today is Vanmadi from Presidency School, Artinagar, Bengaluru. All right, so that's the lineup I have for you here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me quickly go over the rules of the game and then into this quarter final. Ten questions is what I have for them, all of them on the buzzer. Plus one if they get it right, minus one if they get it wrong. Four of them, we have eight quarter finalists here today. Four out of the eight of them will make it through to the semi final. This quarter final is all about making it through to the semi final. That is the goal that they should have in their mind. Nothing appears on the screen, so they have to listen to me very carefully. Single attempt per question only. And once they press the buzzer, I will stop reading out the question. The contestants are, of course, familiar with the fair play protocol, so I will not get into the details of all of that. Let us get started with this quarterfinal, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck to all the quarterfinalists here today. Four of you qualify. Remember that. 
The first question of this quarterfinal, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Bhanu Athaya is an Oscar Award winner. What did she win it for? Monal, go ahead, just quick on the buzzer. She's a fashion designer for that. She won in that category. All right, I give it to you. Plus one on that. The specific category name is costume designer, but you're not wrong when it comes to her profession. Plus one on that to Monal. In fact, Banu Athaya is the first Indian ever to win an Oscar award. It's a great pride for us Indians. Let's move on to question number two. With which musical instrument, musical instrument I said, would you associate Pandit Ravi Shankar? Hari Charan, go ahead. Unmute yourself, Hari Charan. Sitar. Plus one to you. Absolutely right. Sitar is the answer I was looking for. He's absolutely right. He gets a plus one. Monal and Haricharan are on a good start. Let's move on to question number three. What does NSE, let me repeat that, NSE stand for in the world of stocks? Haricharan, go ahead. National Stock Exchange. Plus one to you. Absolutely right. National Stock Exchange giving Haricharan his second plus one. He's doing very well. All right, let's move on to the next question. Question number four, here we go. What game has positions like long leg, short leg? Haricharan again, go ahead. Cricket. Plus one to you, absolutely right. These are all the field positions in cricket, giving Haricharan another plus one. He's already on plus three. Might just be a good time for him to sit back and relax, but. Of course, you can. You're a quizzer. You're free to play the game. You can, of course, play the game. He says no. Okay. He's playing his strategy out. All right. Let's move on to question number five. The famous Bhavani sword was with which king? Haricharan, go ahead. Oh, taking a negative on that, Haricharan. He just said no, he will not play for the next one, but he did. You should have waited for me to give you the options. I had options with me. Your options were Chandragupta Maurya or Shivaji. Shivaji is the right answer. He had three swords, one of which was Bhavani sword. And if I'm not wrong, Bhavani sword is still with his descendants in our country. While another one is in, I think in Britain and one more is lost if I'm not wrong. So he had three swords in total and Bhavani sword belonged to Shivaji. Taking a negative on that is Hari Charan, but I don't see a reason why he should be worried because plus two is a very good score in a quarterfinal like this. Uh, we are midway through the quarterfinal, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you where all of them stand. Hari Charan is on plus two and Monal Bhatia is on plus one. Rest of them are yet to score. Hari Charan just took a negative is why he's gone to two, but he's still leading the quiz. Let's move on to question number six. Chetak was a famous horse of which king? Monal, go ahead. It's Maharana Pratap. She is from Udaipur. She had to get that question right. Plus one to you, Monal. Absolutely right. Let's move on to question number seven. Here we go. With which great king of India did Alexander fight a big battle? Monal, go ahead. It was King Porus. King Porus is absolutely right, giving her a plus one. She's absolutely right. In fact, if I'm not wrong, King Porus one was one of the very few rulers who stood up to Alexander. While everyone else was just submitting into his rule, he refused to do so. Getting a plus one on that is Monal. I have three more questions remaining and only two on positive scores. Let's see what happens. I have four slots in the semi-final and as of now, looks like Haricharan and Monal have taken the first two slots. Even if they end up taking negatives, they'll still make it actually, but I highly doubt that. Let's move on. Question number eight. God's own country is the name... Haricharan, go ahead. Kerala. 
plus 1 to you absolutely right he gets another plus 1 on that both Haricharan and Monal are on plus 3 as of now last two questions of this quarter final ladies and gentlemen question number 9 for which song did A.R. Rahman win an Oscar song very famous song Vanya go ahead Jai Ho Plus one to you, absolutely right. Jai Ho from Slumdog Millionaire. And I specifically said song and not movie because I wanted the song. Getting her a plus one is Jai Ho. And if she chooses to stay quiet and not take a negative, she has comfortably joined Monal and Haricharan into that semi final. Let's move on to the last question of this quarter final. Here we go. Nitish Kumar, let me repeat, Nitish Kumar is the CM of which state? Kavya, go ahead. Bihar. Absolutely right. Bihar is the answer I was looking for. Kavya gets a plus one on that. And Kavya joins Monal, Haricharan and Vanya into that semi-final. Congratulations to all of you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you saw how these kids play in the quarter final. Let me tell you, the quality of quizzing is only going to increase as we get closer into that semi-final and the uh, grand finale that's coming up. Don't go anywhere. I have another quarter final to complete and then we move on into the semi-final. I hope to see you in the next quarter final. You all take care.